Hello. Right, the time is 10 or 9 p.m. I'm going to tell you what happened in more depth about when Michael broke and caused a slip disc in my neck. Um, broken a disc and slip disc, should I say. Because uh, I don't want anything to not be fully correct on the videos, like into detail. So, this is what happened. I was at school, secondary school, so I was around about 11 or 12, I'd only just started and a teacher touched my neck, grabbed me by my neck, he didn't hurt me, there was nothing wrong with me. The school contacted Michael. Michael came up, he was threatening and acting out and kicking off and the um, Michael then decided to take me to the doctors at Duke Street Medical Centre. Well, I managed to walk out of the school absolutely fine. I got into the car absolutely fine. I got out of the car absolutely fine and walked into the surgery. I was sat in the waiting room and Michael said in my ear, uh, make a noise and you'll effing cop it. So next minute I know he'd got his hand around my neck and he squeezed it and it cracked. I was in absolutely agony from that moment. The uh, doctor shouted us through and I couldn't move. It took Michael and the doctor to get me into the medical room and the doctor examined it. He said, oh, I can still see red mark on the neck where she's been grabbed. Michael was saying it with teachers still. So, um, yeah. So when doctor examined, he's like, it's extremely swollen in the middle. Um, I think she actually needs an ambulance. It called ambulance and it came on blue lights. Um, got rushed to Children's Hospital and they did scans. It automatically stated, but I got slipped and broken ne neck. I got told that I, there's, there's a big chance I'm going to be needing a wheelchair. When I'm older, um, I was on a, a traction which went around my neck and to the bed so I couldn't physically move anyway, which I couldn't move my neck as it were, but I couldn't, t couldn't turn because I would literally, like when I mean turn, I mean move all my body. I couldn't move at all because I was literally strapped at bed from my neck. I was in there for six to eight weeks Came out with a collar around my neck to protect my neck um, and to help it to heal. Uh, I still have trouble with this now, but Michael did all of this to um, sue a teacher, who, which was Mr. Taylor. I'm sure it was. Um, it was all for money. So he caused permanent damage in my neck for money. And... I still suffer with it today and it's all because of him so yeah is it this just shows what kind of a bloke he is I've got a daughter who is reported me to social services with which I find highly amusing because the thing is I've protected her from absolutely everything she has difficulties herself but she's so amazing it's unreal everywhere where she goes she's known Everybody just loves her. She's brilliant, absolutely fantastic. Yeah, she has her troubles and challenges, but she's she's just she's really an inspiration. She she literally makes everybody laugh. She's fantastic. She and things what she can come out with and how her brain works. She's extremely intelligent. So yeah, my daughter's extremely loved, and do you know what? She is not gonna know anything about you. She's, it's, it's you what's missing out with her. She's fantastic, but I wouldn't allow you anywhere near her. Like I said to you when I wanted a photo with you and her when she were a baby, that's it. That's all what I wanted was a photo when she was five, six months old. Just so, but she's got something in a keepsake to know, but, she had met you. 
she doesn't need you in her life. I don't want you in her life. And to be quite frank, she's she is perfect. She is perfect in every way. And I don't know how you could have done that to me, me being your daughter, when I wouldn't even dream of laying a hand on my daughter. And I just don't get how you can hurt your own. Oh, well, I don't know how you can hurt anybody. But all of my... All of my regrets in life is all based around you. Now that says a lot. Like, you forcing me to lie to the police when I were in that room um, about this teacher. You told me what to say and you threatened me if I didn't say what you said. And all for money. I don't get how anybody can hurt their own child, never mind for money. I don't get how anyone can do it in full stop. But then again, look at Lauren. So, I, I just, that's one thing I hate is neglect and abuse, especially towards children. And as you know, I was the one what were trying to protect them grandkids of yours. You know, Jake, especially. And look what happened. You didn't want to know you didn't do anything. So don't go making out as though you're a brilliant man then a family man when you're nothing but an horrible, nasty creep. Right? And that's the truth. So, yeah. Right, so this is this video done.